question. Where exactly do you go wrong with a $300 IPS monitor with a good amount of connections and ergo options? If your answer was something to the effect of, by including really bad passive 3D, you'd be getting warm. But I'll get to that later. Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and today I'll be taking a first look at the ASUS VG23AH. The ASUS sports back tilt, height adjustment, and swivel. For connections, it has two HDMI ports, DVI and VGA. And thankfully, the ports sit off to the side of the neck and not directly behind it, as they annoyingly do on some other ASUS monitors. They still face downward, though, and not back like I would prefer. Overall, build quality feels OK, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't feel a bit plasticky. And even with this pretty wide foot stand, it still wobbles like a crazy weeble when knocked from the sides. The OSD array uses ASUS's typical OSD design, where the menu button acts as the enter button, which is kind of annoying and takes some getting used to. But it does have useful options like six different presets, red, green, and blue adjustments, and of course, brightness and contrast. With the IPS panel, you'll see wide viewing angles from pretty much any direction. When you're using the theater preset, movies look pretty much how movies should, with full deep colors and deep blacks. It's hard to see dark gray details, but that's what the night view preset is for. Games look fine, nothing really special, and I wasn't offended by their performance. There is a bit more green tint than I would like, but seriously, I could throw a pair of 3D glasses and easily hit several monitors that have this problem. Speaking of 3D, the passive 3D performance is bad. There's tons of ghosting, the depth level is low, even when turned up to max, and since it's passive, games run at only half the resolution. That's not something too noticeable on every monitor, but here it definitely is. The ASUS costs about $300, which is a great price for IPS, and the overall performance is good, so I don't have trouble recommending it based just on that. You also get some useful ergo options and connections. The OSD navigation design is... But the options are useful. Look, if you're excited about 3D, or if you've never experienced it before, don't make this your first experience, because you likely won't be excited about it anymore. Check out my full review for more info. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the ASUS VG23A.